Hi everyone, my name is Kate Ann Rowan, also known as Not So Typical Kate over on my YouTube channel. As well as being autistic, I also have arthritis, fibromyalgia, dyspraxia and epilepsy. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about epilepsy and debunking four of the most common myths associated with epilepsy. But before I get into the myths, I want to talk a little bit about epilepsy in general, in case you might not know an awful lot about it. So epilepsy is a neurological condition and it is a tendency to have seizures. In Ireland alone, 40,000 people have epilepsy and 50 million people worldwide. In half of cases, there is no known cause. Seizures can be described as an internal electrical storm where ordinary brain activity ceases. Um, seizures can be controlled and they can be controlled through medication known as anti-epileptic drugs and also in some cases surgery. However, it can take a long time for an individual to find the correct medication or the correct combination of medications to help them with their seizures. And sometimes when medication doesn't work, that's when people will turn to surgery. So getting into the four myths. And number one, myth number one is putting something in a person's mouth during a seizure helps. This is a myth, it does not help. It is actually dangerous and it should never be done. Number two is that people with epilepsy cannot drive. Again, this is a myth. When a person's seizures are under control, generally, for a year or longer, a person with epilepsy cannot dri can drive, providing they have the go-ahead from their doctor, or from their consultant or neurologist. However, if that person's seizures return and are no longer under control, they will have to stop driving immediately. Myth number three is that all people with epilepsy are affected by flashing lights. This is not true. In fact, only three to 5% of people with epilepsy are affected by flashing lights, which is called photosensitive epilepsy. And number four, myth number four, which is our final myth, is that never restraining a person during a seizure. So there is a myth, and I think we've seen it probably on television, on programs, films, restraining a person while they're having a seizure. This will not help. What is most important is to make sure there's nothing around that they can hurt themselves on or injure themselves on. And there are three really important words to remember when it comes to somebody having a seizure. And that is word number one, time. Safe, stay. Time the seizure, keep the person safe and stay with them whilst they're having the seizure and also when the seizure is over. Because when somebody has a seizure, they can be confused afterwards. They might not know what's going on. They might not realize they've had a seizure. So it's really important to stay with that person and make sure that they are okay. That concludes this video. I hope that you have learned something from it. I hope that you have enjoyed it and happy newer pride to everyone i hope you have a really wonderful time